<laughs> well, hi. Um, I think I'm in competition with the birds. But at least the mower next door, I was going to say, has stopped. But just as I started filming, it's started again. Hopefully it's not too much of a disruption. But it's Friday the 8th of May. That's VE Day, Victory in Europe Day. And for the UK this year, it's a, a bank holiday because it's the 75th anniversary. I don't know whether any of you have seen the video that I posted last year of our visit to Duxford where I took Dad to the 75th anniversary of D-Day where they had a large number of Dakotas, I think about 23, flying out of Duxford to go to Normandy. Dad was given a very, very warm and special welcome by the paratroopers that were going to jump. How are you doing, sir? Would you like to get up closer? Very nice to meet you. More of that video later on, but what I have done is, as you can see, Dad sitting in the back there uh, asked him some questions about what it was like on VE Day as a Norfolk boy who was just about to turn 15. I was nine when war broke out, living at Swatham in Norfolk, where, where my father was vicar of the church. We lived there with uh, my mother my grandmother uh, and my brother and sister and it was not long before we had a whole host of uh, evacuees coming down from Chadwell Heath. It was an extended family whereby there was a grandmother and her two daughters and her seven children. We had them throughout the war and at the end of the war they decided they didn't want to uh, go back to London, so they became, if you like, naturalised Norfolk. During the war, we as uh, children uh, had to go to, uh, and to help on the farm, and I was especially pleased and quite proud when, at harvest time, when all the farm workers got harvest rations that they gave me harvest rations as well and I went home proud as punch to deliver my uh, contribution to my mother. During the war we used to have to go down into the cellar at night time. Now this cellar uh, was uh, renovated by my father's uncle who was a colonel in the army and uh, he uh, altered this cellar so that there was an exit in case we got uh, bombed or the house got bombed. And it was down in this cellar that we had quite a lot of fun when 15 of us, uh, when the siren went, all fled down the stairs uh, tumbling our way down. As we were there, we could hear all the planes going over to Coventry and uh, when they bombed the cathedral. But uh, surprisingly, uh, with all the American aeroplanes and uh, the RAF in the vicinity, I only saw two German aeroplanes. One was caught in a pair of searchlights and the other was uh, being chased uh, by a Spitfire low down uh, behind a hedge uh, beside the road from Norwich to Swath. On VE Day we had a lot of different uh, parties and uh, if you know Swath and the marketplace and the butter market that was crowded with people and uh, singing, really making merry. 
as evening came on, as many people as could went into the church uh, for a service of thanksgiving. Swaffham Church is a very big church and it could hold 2,000 people. And that church that evening was absolutely crammed. During that service, we heard the church bells. The church bells were rung for the first time since the war started because they were, in the event of an invasion, were rung to announce that the people uh, could expect uh, German troops landing. And that really was one of the last services that my father took at Swaffham because soon afterwards he was moved to Great Oakley to take charge of the church there. Well, thank you very much, John Fielding, for letting me use your photographs in that piece. Your aerial photographs are really, really good, as is your YouTube channel, which I will link up the top here uh, now and put in the description, in the YouTube description below. As uh, so I say, thank you very much for that. Um, and I would like to thank everybody who sent me emails regarding Dad. Um, I didn't feature him in last week's video and I know one or two people got a little bit uh, concerned that I hadn't done so. Um, as you can see, he is very well. well we're trying to keep him um, safe. Um, he's lucky because he's got the garden that he can go out and work in and we keep a distance. I hope you don't mind me turning this look back as a birthday special for him. He has his 90th birthday on Monday and of course lockdown has scuppered any chance of a large family party. But maybe these clips will help him in his isolation. Red lights, green lights, you know, and planes with bits shot off them and it was... And I also was one of those few people uh, when I was at school who went to one of the American Christmas parties. Oh, there and that was really cool. Cool. that was great. Yeah. Did you get sweets? Lights. Well, you know, we saw things there that we'd never seen before. How are you doing, sir? Would you like to get up closer? Very nice to meet you. He was just telling them about how um, on D Day all he saw was a dark sky of an aircraft.
What is it spilling over the over the side? It's Vesuvius here. Yeah. And how's that spot coming up then? It's come up a lot. Nicer than it was. <laughs> I thought the paint was creamier than it is. That's slightly different, isn't it? Yeah. If we're going to have that wing done at some stage, maybe we need to do both. Richard, give me a push if you need to. Absolutely no rush. Okay. Yeah. And then you want me to help with that foot? It goes on to there. Nice and slowly, does it? Oh, okay. Yeah. The other leg, I think, will go in reasonably easy, won't it? Yeah. And then down onto the plank.
Are you comfortable? Very comfortable. Good. Actually, in your pocket, you have got a demisting pad. Right. All right. So you're all okay? I'm all right. You're okay? Yeah, fine. Yeah, that was to John. Oh. Uh, Nailing traffic, Gulf Alpha, Yankee Echo Hotel is rolling, Nailing traffic. All right. Aiming for the trees as I usually do. Stick forward. And we're in the air. Grass is a little bit on the uh, long side, so therefore it's a bit sticky, especially with this recent rain. Okay, right. There's quite a marked inversion there in front yeah. of us. I've turned your volume right up, so that might affect a little bit when we're on quiet. 70 knots, coming up to a thousand foot, and if you look on your right hand side, you've got John passing through. Ready, going past you now, on your wingtip, over there. Yeah. He will stooge around us. There's quite a lot of water yeah. in Hardly. Yep. Amazing all the new building everywhere. Yep. I'll make sure John's not about. And then I'm going to just do a, a fairly sharp right. Okay. Yeah. You happy? Yeah. Do whatever. I'm not worried. Yeah. I've got a nice red arrow telling me that I'm approaching Fingering Ho, but I know that. <laughs> but I intend to come back now left. We're over the top of the university. I don't think I've ever been over the top of that before. No. Uh, a whole lot of new accommodation building yeah. down the side here. over the top of the barrier now. What I was fairly interested in doing was trying to get that camera angle. I've been talking about the railway last couple of flights. Yeah. So with a bit of luck, this camera, which I haven't got set up because we didn't really have a lot of time, um, should be tracking down the side there. Can just about make now make out now where it crossed over the creek, the top of the creek. Yeah. You got the two towers there as part of the bridge, and then we follow the river round. I should imagine when they had that working, it was quite a, a picturesque line because it would have followed right the way down, wouldn't it? Where's Rat Island then? Uh, I can't remember exactly which one, one, of, these, which one uh, of these, yeah. I don't know whether you can see them, but underneath us now, at sort of very low level, there's a whole lot of birds. You can quite clearly see the, the railway line now. coming up there yeah. towards Bateman's Tower. Got Mersey standing out quite nicely. Right, realise it rose so... No, as it does from the... What, you mean how, how the mud slopes? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to swing round Brightling Sea and come out this side. Not many people down on the seafront. Oh. oh, big development down there now. Down there, there's... Yeah. That's all the caravans are point clear, isn't it? Yeah. The 
You got it? Yeah. You got all the houses and everything? Because yeah. I'm going to come right. Seems strange when you look at it from above, doesn't it? It does. It yeah. makes everything look like a model. Nailing traffic, go for the Yankee Echo Hotel final, nailing traffic. Don't tend to have to look for the deer nowadays. Only thinks that they may have been poached. Or boiled or roasted or something. But it's Friday the uh, 5th, no it's not, no it's not, stupid boy. Guess what, phone's ringing. Hello? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I voted for the Dakotas over Normandy uh, event uh, where the parachutes, <laughs> parachutes, what parachutes? In the camera, say it to the camera. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Grandpa. Happy birthday, King Grandpa. Well done! Well done! Clap, 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 clap. Let me fix that. Well done to Grand. Happy birthday to Grandpa and Karis and James. Who are you saying happy birthday to, Ed? <laughs> Is that happy birthday, Grandpa? <laughs> yeah? Happy birthday, Grandpa. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! You can say happy birthday again. Should we say it together? Here we go. Eddie! Eddie! Happy birthday! Baby James, you gonna say happy birthday to Grandpa? Oh, oh, that's right. Hello Grandpa, sorry we can't be with you for your birthday, but we hope you have a nice time and we look forward to, to seeing you when lockdown is lifted. Okay, one, two, three. Happy, happy birthday! birthday. <laughs> what did you say, Karis? Happy Karis? birthday! Happy birthday! <laughs> Here we go. Happy birthday, Grandpa. Sorry we can't be with you, but we hope you have a lovely day and we look forward to seeing you all again soon. Say bye-bye, Grandpa. Bye-bye, Grandpa. Good girl. Hi, Grandpa. Just wanted to wish you a happy 90th birthday. Uh, I'm afraid uh, we're sorry, but we can't be there uh, and uh, the, the little one's already gone to bed. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, I hope you have a great birthday and... Uh, we'll uh, speak to you on the day. Uh, lo uh, love you lots and miss you so much. Uh, speak to you soon. Bye. Happy birthday! Happy birthday.